Let's go! I never, ever thought I'd be here. Hi, I'm Freya, and I'm going to be representing the United Kingdom in Junior Eurovision! What do you know about Junior Eurovision? Well, this year, the UK is taking part for the first time since 2005. And we can reveal that 13-year-old Freya Skye has been chosen to represent the UK in this year's contest. They were looking for aspiring singers. I was lucky enough to be asked to audition. So, so happy. UK's entrance for Junior Eurovision. She's 13 years old and will be heading to Armenia next month. So how did you get picked? How did you audition? Tell us everything. It doesn't feel real. I'm Freya and I'm this year's UK entry for Junior Eurovision. <laughs> that doesn't feel real saying that. Come in, have a look around. Here are my parents. I just feel so lucky to like have like my family be so supportive of everything because honestly, like if it wasn't for my family, like my mum, my dad, even Ruby, my dog. <laughs> Um, I don't actually, I wouldn't have any of this. I think my parents would describe me as never stop singing. And I think to a point where it gets annoying. It's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> tell her I love her, but tell her she's really annoying. <laughs> Can I say that? <laughs> I think the first ever song that I sung was Part of Your World from The Little Mermaid. Think my collection's complete. What do you think, mama girl? A girl who has Everything. But I think when I found out, like, I could hit some of the, you know, bigger notes, when I was just singing Never Enough um, from The Greatest Showman. And I sung it and I was like, oh my gosh. I don't know where Freya gets her musical talent from. It's definitely not me. <laughs> Could be me. <laughs> I don't think so, Dad. We don't know. Yeah. <laughs> she might do some singing in the lounge and be like, whoa, you should be on stage, like any parent. But I think as she started to get compliments and praise from teachers, etc., I think that's when we realised, you know what, actually, she is pretty good. We should really, you know, try and support her as much as we can. As long as she's doing what she loves, then we're happy. I heard that I was one of 40 kids that had been selected to audition. For the first round of auditions, I had to prepare two songs. So I prepared Remember by Becky Hill and then my original songs, which is called I Love The Way. It was definitely really nerve wracking. Once I've left an audition room, it's, it's in the power of everyone that was on the panel. And I should uh, put it to the back of my mind because that is something that's not in my control anymore. You know, all I can control is knowing that I can go and I can do my best and I can practice. There are things I can do, but I think the things that I can't control, I need to not worry about. I had to just wait for like a good week um, and it was like the longest week of my life. But I got through to the second round. I was so excited to hear that I got through to the second round of auditions. There were eight of us that got called back and this is the round we had to sing the chosen junior Eurovision song, Lose My Head. I loved Lose My Head and I was really excited for the panel to see my take on it. This time, the people on the panel were industry professionals, so I had to sing in front of a vocal coach, the creative director, and the songwriters of Lose My Head. So I was very nervous. Annabelle, the vocal coach, she worked with me on it. Um, we took it up a few semitones. We kind of played with it a little bit. Annabelle actually made it a bit higher for me, so it would suit my vocal range better. She actually got me to sing I Lose My Head Over Ya, rather than I use, Lose My Head Over You. 
Like easy to hold for longer. I think to do a competition as big as the Junior Eurovision Song Contest, you've got to have kind of three main elements. And I think one of those is just natural talent. Secondly, is confidence. You've really got to kind of know what you, your own capabilities are and have the confidence to go for it. And the third one is personality, which Freya, tick, tick, tick. You know, she just had all of them, so it was great. I knew that I could not have done any better and I did my absolute best. After the second round of auditions, I just had to go back to school, cross my fingers and wait for the news. I got an email telling me that I would be going to a dance audition and that it would be in London in a West End theatre. I mean, already I was a bit nervous. I was like, oh gosh, dance. Oh. Lucy Jones is a West End performer and at the minute she is playing Elphaba in Wicked. I saw her in Waitress um, a couple years ago and from then on I've always loved her. And she also represented the UK in the main Eurovision in 2017. I was already excited to be auditioning in the theatre where Wicked the Musical was on. Little did I know Lucy Jones was going to be there and she had a big surprise for me. So then I was told to walk in and then I was just told to stand in the lobby. I was waiting downstairs in the foyer with my mum and my dad and I had no clue what was happening behind the scenes. Hello. Hi. I'm going to cry. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How are you? Are you okay? I'm really, I'm this really, is very really exciting. good. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my gosh! I can't believe it. I'm literally like your biggest fan as oh well. Oh my gosh! I've just been listening to you sing, and oh you are amazing. Thank you so it's much. It's so nice to meet you. <laughs> so you're here today for the dance workshop. Yeah. So are you ready to get moving and yeah. get going? I think so. Hope so. Yeah. Good. Okay. Cool. But before we do that, um, I need to give you some news um, mm -hmm. about today is that um, it's been a trick to get you here because I'm here to tell you that you have been chosen to represent the UK at Junior Eurovision <laughs> this year! I can't believe it! Happy. Very happy, oh, very, very, very happy! I'm so, oh, happy. I'm so happy for you, it's so exciting! <laughs> I can't believe it! <laughs> oh, so happy! Really? Most difficult secret ever. <laughs> I'm was... so proud of myself. I, how I kept this a secret. My mum's so bad at keeping secrets. I am secrets. so I think, bad. Yeah, I think she smashed it. And Thank it was you. good because you're the type that gives away Freya's birthday present before the birthday. Yeah, so this always. Was huge for you. So massive win for Sarah. <laughs> Even bigger win for Freya. So proud so of you. So proud of you. Mm. I was woken up, ready for school, and I still don't really think it's gone in at all. Um, and I, today at school, I just have to pretend like nothing happened. <laughs> I think if I went and told someone at school yeah. that I was going to be performing, like, in Junior Eurovision, and I met Lucy Jones, and she surprised me, they go, what, did you have a dream last night? <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely think that'd be their reaction. You're going ha to have the best time. You are going to. You're going to make so many new friends, and yeah, that's what it's all about. I'm sure you girls are going to put on the show of a lifetime. It's going to be amazing. Do you know, as long as you have fun. Yeah. And you go out and you, f you know, you go out there and you feel like when you're on that stage you've won, which you will, it doesn't matter whatever happens. I feel like I've already won. I feel so lucky and I, I don't feel real. <laughs> it's a once in a lifetime experience, so I'm kind of just taking it day by day and trying not to worry about anything that's coming up so I can enjoy what's happening right now. Um, I'm right now just sat writing down everything that's happened today. It's actually been a really fun day. I got home from school and then I literally had to get straight on to um, a call with Annabelle, who's the vocal coach, um, and also Jack, who is one of the writers of the song. And we sorted out sort of the key um, of the song and, you know, talked about some cool notes we're going to be putting in and some lyric changes um, in preparation for Sunday when I go and record the song.
just arrived at Metropolis Studios about to record the vocals for Lose My Head and I am so excited. I'm actually really nervous though because like One Direction have recorded here, Ed Sheeran and I'm going to stand in the same space. Adele. Ed Sheeran and Adele. Adele. Oh my gosh. And it's literally only been a week. It literally feels like I was surprised like a month ago. I don't think I can get in. The doors are locked. The doors are locked. Oh, oh no. <laughs> They're not even locked. Yeah. We didn't even try. <laughs> Got to run now. <laughs> Hello. Very nervous about recording today. <laughs> very, very nervous. I'm very excited. Start off just getting your lead vocal. OK. You can do as many takes as you like. You know, there's no pressure to get it right first time. We've got plenty of time. <laughs> That's going to be your spot. And then you've got your headphones there. If you want to throw them on. You should be able to hear yourself at the moment. And then... Hello. Oh, I can. I feel like I'm doing some sort of like ASMR or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, you literally feel like you're in a cardboard box on your own. Because you're in this room and you just have a little window to peer out of to see everyone. It was so nice to get to like work with Annabelle for the first time on this project. And lots of time vocal coaches might be like, Right, now do it like this. They don't actually tell you how to do it. And she's amazing on that. She's like, now do it like this. So to do that by opening your mouth more or by adding a riff, something like that. And I think it's so much more helpful when you're told how to do something. <laughs> I was trying to do these fries. And it's like when you go like, uh, uh, Good, now just get a real good feeling of how that feels in your throat. I go, lose it. Put it on the lose it until I lose it. I actually don't know why it's called a fry. Like, honestly, sounded like I was about to be sick. I was like, hey, because I couldn't get the fry right. You lie, waste my time, I say bye bye. Something I found quite interesting is how we do it line by line. So you might sing the very first line four times. House of cards falling. Then you do the second line four times. Then you do the third line four times. Um, and then they kind of mix and match it and see what goes best together. It's so clever. Yeah, that's it. Good job. There are three songwriters who wrote the song, but only two of them were there on the recording day. Um, so the two that were there were Amber and Jack. I'd actually met Jack before, because he was in one of my auditions, um, but Amber I hadn't met before. And they're both so lovely. They're both very, very cool. I'm Jack Howitt. I'm Amber Van Day, and we're the songwriters of Lose My Head. Some of the artists I've worked with are Megan Thee Stallion, Pharrell. Ava Max, Charlie XCX. We've worked with a few people. Yeah. <laughs> so it's really exciting for us to have our song chosen as the UK's entry for Junior Eurovision. Absolutely nailed that, honestly. Thank you. So good. One take, that first yeah, take. Yeah, so yeah. good. <laughs> we just finished recording the song. I had the most fun. Today's gone so quick. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we did all the backing vocals um, and we got to hear it at the end. We got to hear it all like done together. And I'm so, so excited um, to get on the music video set and hear it and see it all together. Good morning. So I just got into London for day one of rehearsals this week. Um, yeah on our way to Pineapple Studios. My first day of rehearsals, which is actually my first rehearsal for this ever, it was just me and the choreographer, Jay. It was definitely challenging. I mean, I can't lie, like, dance, definitely not my strongest, like, strength. The way I kind of got through being nervous was just smile, kind of, you know, if you mess up, it's fine, don't get stressed out and storm off, just kind of laugh yourself out of it and then get back in when you can. Rehearsals are rehearsals and they're not the end piece, they're not the end show, it's part of the process of learning. They're there for you to mess up, make mistakes, try things out so that you can be perfect when it really matters. I think she's doing amazingly well. I just think she just needs to believe in herself more. Like the dancing might look all glamorous in the video, um, and look like it's easy, like look like it just comes easy. 
but like behind the scenes in rehearsals and things like that it's not glamorous it's really hard and it's very sweaty so i'm right now in london with dad dad say hi hi we're coming here for day two of rehearsals um, and today it's with the dancers there are four dancers um there's misha there is india there's Kristen, and there's soraya um, they're all like similar age to me and they were so lovely. Um, I mean, they are so talented. It's incredible. We're trying to push something above our head that's really small and like there's a crowd around us. So it's like, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, we're kind of tight. We can't be like this. We've got to be kind of in with our shoulders and our elbows. Yeah, so we're bounce, bounce. Five, six, seven, eight, five, I really, really like the track because of like the beat and it gives you a groove and it's really, really catchy. Basically, love everything about it. We get along really well and I love the parts where we all vibe with each other and just like do that kind of stuff because then it just feels like we're all one big family. In the UK. <laughs> There's nothing more intimidating than knowing you're going to be on your own on a big stage. I think having them around me makes me feel a lot more like comfortable um, and like a bit more confident. You know, I think it'd be really nice if we're all like really close friends and then we can all, you know, really go through this together. It feels so weird when like you're looking in all the mirrors and you just see everyone in the mirror or, you know, we're all in time, all doing the same thing. And it's kind of, it's like a really like surreal moment. You can't help but like smile. Um, Cause it just makes me so happy how like it's all I dreamed of and it feels like it's coming true. It's music video day! Right now in the car, it's 20 to 6 in the morning. Um, I'm literally by one thing. I'm excited, but I am very, very nervous. I think this crossed, it'll be fine. We arrived at the venue while everyone was setting up. This is what it looked like before. Can you actually believe it? Straight to hair and makeup for me, because for some reason, bed hair and a onesie just wasn't the vibe. This is Marcus and this is Lisa, and they both worked with loads of celebs on Strictly Come Dancing, which I mean, that's very, very cool. Check out my makeup and look at the sparkly eyeliner. I'm obsessed. Okay, here we go, coming to track in three, two, one, enjoy. You get what you want when you want it. Your kind should have come with a warning. lip gloss on and I had curly down hair and I go I lose my head and my hair was in my lip gloss and my hair was like this so it's like a dream come true I really like doing it and I love the hair and makeup it's so like amazing also the costumes like stand out so much it's actually really inspirational working with Freya she processes everything and every take is just so amazing time after time again in three, two, one, go. Epic. They just keep on giving so much amazing energy. This is my party! Yeah, it gave me a proper pop star vibe. I mean, you don't get to sit on a phone every day, do you? No. Not at home, anyway? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> video. I think keeping this a secret, it's definitely been one of like, the biggest secrets I've ever had to keep. Keeping this between our tight-knit group, the trio, for the <laughs> past really. month, and the dog, of course, yeah, for the really. past month, how hard has that been? Hard. Honestly. You know Granddad loves George Ezra? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm singing him like George Ezra songs, and then he goes, sing us a Eurovision song. <laughs> And I was like, I don't know if I can remember it. <laughs> Eventually, it's going to go out into the world and everyone's going to know. But, like, I am excited. Yeah, Tiny bit nervous. Why we need to enjoy this weekend. <laughs> Lap yeah. switch off, almost calm before the storm. I can't wait until it's launch day because my parents and I have been holding in this huge secret for what seems like forever. It's launch day! I'm just really excited for like friends and family to know so then I can actually talk to them about it 
Um, but yeah, very busy. They've got News Round, Five Live, Fun Kids Radio. BBC Breakfast. Uh, BBC Breakfast. Oh, it's going to be a mad day. So I'm very excited. It's be a busy one. Exactly, Dad. Because soon the whole country is going to find out. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm living my best life. It's massive. Is all right. Never <laughs> See what you mean? Tell some of my friends to watch yeah, Pussy Breakfast because I wanted them to like kind of see it. Freya and Dad Mike are with us now. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. It's crazy now that I can go out and talk about it freely and it was so crazy hearing them before I actually sat down on the sofa hear them say, oh, well, we can announce that it's going to be Freya Scott. I was like, oh, my God, that's me. <laughs> it didn't feel real. Is it starting to sink in? Um, I feel like it's floated back up now. Yeah. It's sunk in and now it's like all the way back up here because now everyone knows. Very, very busy day. Very busy day. But, you know, it's a dream come true. Lots of people, like, they might meet me and say I'm quite a confident person. You just, honestly, you, you always amaze me. <laughs> <laughs> you just straight on camera, away you go. And I'm like, wow. I think I get my confidence from my dad. I think he's got a very infectious personality. I definitely do get nervous. But I feel like sometimes you have to remind yourself, that, like, this is what I, like, this is my dream. And I think when you're nervous, sometimes you can like maybe forget that. It's Freya Sky who is representing the UK at this year's Junior Eurovision. So how are you feeling? I am so excited. It's been so hard keeping it a secret for so long. I and imagine. I mean, I'm just so relieved now that everyone knows. So Freya, would you like to do the honors and introduce your music video? This is my brand new music video to lose my head. Enjoy. That's a wrap, Freya. Well done. Woo! Best day ever. So we're just about to arrive at today's rehearsal space. Very nervous, but let's see how it goes. Bye. Love you. Bye. 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 <laughs> hey, girlies. I think it's really nice to know that, like, when I go out to Armenia, it won't just be me going out. It'll be me and, like, all of the girls who are all my friends. Are you guys excited for children in need next week? I think something nice about having, you know, dancers on stage with you is that you're kind of, you're surrounded by people who have the exact same passion as you. I think it's really nice knowing that I'm going to be on stage with these girls, probably not my own. We started off going through the choreo that we did for the music video. Then we did, um, we added some different parts to it to make it better for children in need. And everything that worked we kept, and everything that didn't work for stage, where um, there was a cut in the music video, um, there was like a little bit of a restaging. But we really wanted to keep it in that same world. The process for a music video and for a live performance is very different. For a music video we use one camera and we do multiple takes, whereas the rehearsals that we need to get right for this performance we don't get any second chances. can't do mistakes, it's just one whole thing and that's it. It's like your brain's getting so full, like all the little notes that Jill just told us to remember. In the end, it all comes together, it looks really good, so. Very, very tricky, trying to, you know, do dance moves good, but then also focus on singing, because, you know, I want to sing good, but I also want to dance good, so it's definitely hard trying to get that balance is in, like, you know, rationing my air, make sure I'm taking deep enough breaths, but then not doing too much movement. We're introducing Freya to IEMs, or in-ear monitors, which is basically earphones that uh, she will be able to hear her voice on the microphone through and the track. Just push it in as far as is comfortable. Does that feel like it's in snugly? Yeah. We use in-ear monitors so that we can hear our voices super clear, so that whatever we're singing on the microphone, we can hear in our ears. Um, this really helps when you're singing in front of an audience, you know, so that sometimes the noise of the audience can drown out what you can hear, and it actually can stop you hearing your own voice. If you can't hear yourself, you might sing out of tune. Yeah. You were dangerous, give it all I got, but now it's over and done. How did that feel? Weird. <laughs> but good, 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 good. It's cool, it's cool. At first, the in-ears felt really weird. I felt like I was underwater, and I think it was really, really cool kind of figuring out how it all worked, and I literally felt like a pop star. Oh, so, how's your day gone? Why are you a news presenter today, by the way? No, just feeling it. <laughs> the rehearsals have been going really, really well. Even though there's been a lot to take in and a lot to remember, I feel like the more I do it, the easier it gets. 
Um, and I mean the dancers, they look incredible and the team have been so, so amazing. Um, I'm really excited to see what it all looks like. Um, until then, I'm just gonna have to keep practicing at home. Practice makes perfect. <laughs>
absolutely loved the opening ceremony. It's been so, so nice to meet all the other participants. I've seen them all in their music videos and on social media, um, but it's so, so nice to finally meet them in person, and they're all so, so lovely. Um, but I'm so, so, so excited for the live show on Sunday, and I really hope to do the UK proud. On a rainy day, looking through the glass, that was all it took. And I tried to stay in my wonderland, but I was out of luck. Took it way too far when I said I wouldn't, and I kept doubling up. But honestly, don't you see, it's my party.